Hello guys, it's Unders. Today on our lovely logic tutorial, we're going to have a look at flex pitch. We're going to go a little bit more in depth with it and I'm going to show you some things you can do on the vocal to be a little bit more creative rather than corrective as well. Um, if these videos are helpful for you, please bash a like on the video, subscribe to the channel and if you've got any questions, throw it in the comments down below. If there's a video you would like to see, let me know there as well. And hey, if you really want, you can throw me an email and you can get that from warriorsound.co.uk. So what we've got here is a vocal. It's the vocal I used in my track Embrace um, and it's just the main stem. There's lots of layers to this vocal with harmonies and things going on. But it's just this section here. When you reach the chord side of the world And you need me to show you a way out now The girl I work with on this did a really good job recording it. It's, uh, it's nice and dry, the notes are all sort of there. But there's a few little things we can do to like add a bit of flair to it and tune it up just a little bit. So if you guys don't know how to access uh, flex time and flex pitch, it is this little icon just up here where we've got highlighted. And if you do command and F, it will switch that channel. So you've got flex pitch on. And you see you get this little option up here where it says monophonic. And we need to activate this channel. So we've got the same symbol just here on that track. We now need to enable that and it's just going to do a quick read of the track and in this case it's grabbed all the transients and switched to polyphonic audio that's not what we want we're going to click on that and we're going to go flex pitch it's going to reanalyze it and it gives us a piano roll type thing and it should be the same piece of audio when you reach the chord side of the world and you need me to show you a way out. Cool, and we've got the same thing going on as we did before. Now we can edit this directly in here and that is what we're going to do. Now as you'll see, all of these notes pretty much bang on point. There's a couple that drift out a little bit here and there in between and you'd expect that they're going between two notes. That'd be completely normal when we listen back to it. When you reach the chord side of the world and you need me to show you a way out. Yeah, now, right here, this, this phrase just here. You need me to show you. It's ever so slightly out. And if you had a note going on with that, it might affect it. Um, and what you can do, you can grab fine pitch. You can just bring that a little bit closer so it's not so audible. You need me to show you. You need me to show you. You need me to show you. Cool, now it's giving us sort of a strange little warp. You need me to show you. See how that like little snap afterwards is gone? Let me bring this back to here. You need me to show you. And that is going to be down more than likely to the pitch drift here. We can just drift it out slightly. You need me to show you. There you go. So it's just snapping too quickly. As if you just let it drift up to the top of the note, that's going to fix that problem straight away for you. Now, we were going to do some creative things. If I remember rightly, there is a part here, I think, here perhaps, that becomes really static and we can have a bit of fun with that and liven up a touch. Sky surround me. Yeah, so this note here is just really... Like it's perfect, it's in tune, but it's just really bland. There's no sort of flair to it. It's great when it's got all the... Um, ad-libs and things going on but if you didn't have that to work with you can do some other things to this Sky so. surround me. yeah it's just a bit bland and we can flare that up a little bit so if we grab just this really blandish bit here me. we can in fact introduce some extra vibrato into it just to give it a bit more of a wobble and that's really going to flex it out at the end here but we'll give a bit more of a drift in there. Me, me. If we really wanted to as well, we could have it so it starts slightly out and drifts in. Me. We would want to compensate by having this one drift up slightly at the end. Sky surround me. Maybe we've been a bit extreme there and it's slightly off what we would like 
Let's just dial it back a touch. The sky surround me. There you go. So it's just adding a little bit of vibrato into that section. Give it a bit more life. Sky surround me. Lift us up and teach us how to fly. Something else we can do with this as well. We can be a bit more creative with this. I don't remember what key this was in. I think it was probably F or something like that. Maybe not. F sharp. Hey, I'm not going to dwell on that. What we could do is potentially move these notes around completely and really drift them in and out and uh, just have a play around with that and see if we can get something cool to happen. Now, I wouldn't necessarily do this in the track this is recorded for, but if you've got, say, some vocal samples that you're working into a track, these are just some cool things you can do to play around and get new sounds and effects out and breathe some new life into something that's effectively going to be unchanged and used by lots of others. Does up and teach us how to fly. Yeah, that kind of works. We can maybe drift you a bit more. Uh, and we need to make sure that you come right down. Lift us up and teach us how to fly. Lift us, lift us up and teach us how to fly. And perhaps let's really slowly drift this back down. Lift us up and teach us how to fly. Lift us up and... Yeah, let's have a little bit of a bright in it. Tame you a bit. Lift us up and teach us how to fly. Lift us up and teach us... Well, there you go, guys. There was just a couple of quick little things you can do to add some flair and adjustments to vocals using flex pitch rather than just always being corrective with it. It's a creative tool as well. Hope the video was useful for you. I will see you on the next one. If you did enjoy the video and it was helpful for you, please don't forget to bash a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. It does help me out massively in creating more content for you guys. See you all soon.